What's up, Pyromaniacs? Pyro Stasis here. We are back in the world of, well, actually, we're in the world of Space Hulk for the first time. Uh, for those of you guys who are unaware, Space Hulk is actually a uh, remake of a game that came out in the 90s. It is a game that I really liked back then. Uh, it is based in the Warhammer 40,000 or 40K um, era, so to speak. Uh, basically, from what I understand, and I am probably screwing this up, the Warhammer lore bunnies are probably going to have blood shooting out of their eyes when I make this statement. So if I am wrong, assume I'm wrong. But this is my general understanding of the story. Basically, there is this Hulk, the spaceship that is floating around in space. And space marines have been sent to it before and were wiped out. It was lost, so they could not be avenged. Um, we have found it. It was near one of our planets. And we are now engaging it. Um, there are at least two scenarios here. There is the boarding prequel, which you have the beachhead cut off in the ambush. That's mainly just teaching you how to play the game. And then you have the actual campaign, which is Sin of Damnation. Sin of Damnation is actually what the, the actual ship, I guess, is called. Um, I don't know why it's called the Sin of Damnation. Seems a little over the top, but apparently uh, that's, that's what it is. So we're going to go ahead and start the Sin of Damnation um, campaign, starting from here. I will be skipping, uh, like I said, the tutorial area eras because they're heavily done with tutorials. And basically, to kind of fill you in on what's going on, you secure a beachhead with two guys. Um, then the next mission, you guys got to expand the beachhead and rescue a guy who gets cut off. And then in the third mission, you have to get to a control center. So... Uh, the one key interesting thing about this is it's going to play a lot like XCOM, if you're familiar with XCOM. Um, it's going to feel a lot like that. Uh, and the, the, the corridors are extremely, extremely confined. So you're, it's a very claustrophobic game. So let's go ahead and get going. There is a large bank of functioning escape pods in a sector well beyond our established perimeter. The enemy must not escape. Cleanse the control room. No matter the cost, this will be done. Sergeant of the squad, accept your orders. You command one squad. Oh god. You will deploy your terminators here. Scanners have detected Zeno's life signs in these areas. Deep scans indicate the target is in this area. Bathe the control room in flame, and protect the battle brother who bears the heavy flamer. If he falls, all is lost. Alright, so what you're going to see here, the way this basically works, this is where we deploy, um, and you're stuck. These are all very, very narrow corridors. Uh, these right here are spawn locations where the uh, gene stealers can spawn, uh, think aliens from alien and aliens. Um, and they're pretty nasty. They move incredibly quickly and you are incredibly slow. Uh, the other thing that kind of is different from a lot of strategy games is you can't actually um, fire over your other people's shoulders because you're so big. So here are our rules. Once we get into the game, there will be some, uh, some minimum requirements. Hopefully. Usually there is. And I believe this is also all done, and you can see right here, they mentioned dice rolls a lot. This I think this is very similar, or at least very based on the Warhammer 40k board game or miniatures game. I'm probably screwing that up again. The lore bunnies are going to have me crucified over that. But it's all based on dice rolls, so sometimes things get a little hinky and some, some rather weird shit goes down. Now, uh, WSAD does allow you to control the controls like normal, so you can zoom in. Uh, we can see down here, ooh, this is where they're going to be spawning. We've got a door here. We've got a large open area here, uh, and then a nice, tight, confined area. Another big opening, and we need to get to here. This is where we need to get to burn the fuck out of that thing. So we've got to basically maintain this area here. Now we're going to have Brother Azale. Brother Zale, he's the flamer. Uh, the flamer has six shots on it. That's all. Um, so the nice thing about the flamer is you can use it to like burn this corridor and then nothing can come down that corridor for a turn. The problem with it is 
uh, you use one of your five sh- or one of your six shots. So that's all you've got. So since this mission isn't about killing things, it's more about getting to this location and staying alive. We don't want him on the front, but we're not going to want him on the back either. So we're going to put him right here. Then I'm going to put two Terminators in front. These are the generic Terminators. And then I'm going to put this bro right there. That's your sergeant. Your, I guess your leader or whatnot. Uh, he does provide some bonuses to people that are near him. Terminator ready. And it is kind of interesting. Um, you have some teleportation devices, which allow you to teleport around. But... Uh, Apparently, they're only good for getting on the field and only getting on the field in certain locations as opposed to teleporting to your objective. One of the other things I really like, which is also a throwback to the original game, is right up here in the upper right-hand corner, you do have kind of a camera. So you can see right here, this dude's got his sword. He's behind this guy. If I click up here, we're looking at the front. He's looking at the, the, the base. We can get the back. We're looking at this dude's ass interesting you know it's it's just it's it's kind of an interesting setup if you're if you're a weird strategy geek like i am it's kind of cool now one of the other things that you got down here is you got each person has their own action points now action points are down here on the bottom we've got four um per turn then over here on the left we have cps uh cps i don't know what cp actually stands for but they are like action points but they're usable by the entire team now, what you need to be careful with is you only earn, I think it's one CP per turn. So right now I've got almost, let's see, we've got five. I've got almost six CP, which is really, really nice. The problem with that is if I were to burn all of those extra moves, it's gonna take me five or six turns for that to come back up. So we're gonna go ahead and move this dude. We want him to lock this hallway down. So we're gonna move him to right here and have him facing that way. And you can kind of see how slow this guy moves. You know, he's not a spry guy. He's not gonna be, you know, burning it out anytime. The other thing you're gonna notice is just turning to the right cost me CP. So I did burn one of my extra CPs just to get him into position. Now we're gonna select these guys and we're just gonna kind of daisy chain everybody up to the front lines a little bit. Objective locked. And we're gonna go ahead and end our turn, see what the Xenos are gonna do. Okay, now you see those little red symbols? The red symbol means you've detected movement but that symbol could be anywhere from one to six aliens. You have no idea how many are actually there. So while you do know that there is something nasty coming down the pipe, you're not exactly sure what it is. So we're gonna step him into the doorway. We're gonna put him on overwatch. Now, if anything comes through this door, he's gonna rock and roll and engage it. Now, this guy here, we need to move him further down the line. I'm gonna move him, damn it, move him up to here, can we get the door open? Can you open the door, bro? My door's open. Flying Putting secure. him in overwatch, just so he can engage anything that moves up. The With all due haste. Move all these guys one spot up at a time. Securing position. We've got a nice little line of really slow moving little bastards. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. I have a feeling this guy down on the bottom is going to be getting more. Multiple targets acquired. One. Two. Three. Four. Weapon jammed. Oh, that's bad. Resuming fire. Now, the weapons will periodically Bible jam. Bailed. When they jam, you're kind of screwed. And he's probably going to die here, actually. Oh, he blocked. No! Oh. So we just lost a guy. We've already lost a guy. And that guy managed to hold, like, what? Three aliens at bay before he went down? My weapon is jammed. Oh god, now his weapon's jammed. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really, really bad. Okay. So our weapon is jammed. Um, this guy is supposed to be some kind of, like close quarters god 
So I'm gonna move him. Is that the one with the sword? Yeah, he's the one with the sword. So I'm gonna move him into position. He's gonna lock this down. Turn. And he's gonna see the alien. And completely and utterly frag that alien. I'm gonna go ahead and put him so back in Overwatch. Now this guy right here, remember he said his gun was jammed? It's gonna actually cost one AP to unjam this gun. Clear to fire. So we've unjammed it, and we're gonna try and engage these monsters before they get too much further. And then I'm gonna put him in Overwatch. Watching for enemy contact. All right, you. I'm gonna go ahead and move you up to the front. And in our turn. Dude, that is an ugly son of a bitch, and I'm not talking about the alien. Oh my god! Holy shit, dude! This guy's a boss! My <laughs> weapon is jammed! No, don't jam your weapon! I'm jamming weapon. Thank you! Now, I don't know if these guys have experience or anything along those lines. Unjamming weapon. It would be nice if over time they got better. Now, unlike the Flamer, this guy has unlimited ammo. So he can do this all day. He can do this all day. The machine spirits have answered my prayers. The machine spirits. Good God, dude. Holy crap. Alright, so you can see we've generated two CP. So we're doing okay. I'm gonna leave this guy here because he needs to be he needs to be on Overwatch. Now I wish I could seal that door. Uh there may actually be a way to seal doors, like this one right here. I don't know if I can shoot it and, and like jam it closed or jam it open. They mentioned something like that in the tutorial, but I didn't really uh I haven't really been able to figure it out. There's also supposedly a way to walk backwards, which I also haven't figured out. I'm sure one of you guys will know and will be screaming at me by the time uh, we get to uh, episode two. But I'm going to go ahead and keep this guy the in Overwatch position. Because uh, I don't want to move it. He, he's never going to make it down this hallway in time. And if they decide to get froggy, I, I want to be ready to, to deal with it. Now, with this guy, he can move two blocks and go into Overwatch. So I'm going to go ahead and move him forward too, and we're going to put him in Overwatch. Right, they will in. fall. And then I'm going to move you straight up behind that bro. Oh, that's Brother Zale. No. Sorry, Brother Zale. You, you, ain't, you ain't going there, bro. He move this guy forward. Brother Zales are flamethrower, and like I said, you got to protect that guy. So he's there. Let's go ahead and put him in Overwatch. Let them come. And then we'll move Zale right up behind him. Now the problem with moving Zale right up behind him like this is now these guys are pinned and I have to move this guy before we can do anything. And you can see from here, this this is a pretty pretty narrow little corridor here. So let's let's see what the enemy does. Let's see if we can't earn some more CP. Oh fuck, dude! Come on, really? Clear to fire. Do these guys really need to clean their weapons more frequently or something? Okay. He's dead. Oh, shit. Really? You got like that the Borg cyborg eye, and you're missing. Holy shit! Really? Oh my god. Like I said, that guy's a sergeant. He's supposed to be like the shit. And I'm not really getting that feel from him at all. He's fucking point blank range. Fucking end him. Okay, what does that mean? Is he suppressed? Is he... What does that mean? I have no idea what that icon means. Alright. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy in guard as opposed to well if I put him into overwatch then he'll shoot as soon as that guy moves and there's a chance he could tag him. if I put him into guard then I basically get double the chance to fuck it up so if, if I screw it up once then I'm okay for the second round the problem is if I go guard and we kill this guy then we've got to deal with the two to three behind him uh, that we can't see now I could try and shoot this thing one more time I've already I've already whiffed it twice so if, if I shoot him again and I whiff uh, we're still no better off because like I said we only get one shot so this is some of the decision making that you got to make that's kind of horrifying so um Ah, fuck. What's, what is this? Sergeant Lorenzo. Lorenzo, is there anything special about... I mean, you got this big-ass sword. Surely to God. All right, we're going to try Stand the guard. Around, brothers. We're going to try guard. He's got his big, badass laser sword. I think he's probably going to be okay. We'll find out here in a second. Okay, so we have no more baddies here. So we're going to go ahead and move these guys pretty far down the road. I like how he's just like stomping all over the place. Move him to here. Now the problem with his position right now, that spot there, he can be attacked from either side. Yes, brother. Move so it. I've got to get this sorted quickly because... They can come at... If you're in Overwatch, you're only overwatching the direction that you're facing. So, if... This guy can be engaged from either side, where he can only engage in one position at a time. So, it... It, it can be very bad. Objective locked. Now, I can actually walk Lorenzo backwards, if I can figure out how to walk him back. I just don't know quite how to do that. There's gotta be a way to walk him backwards. Oh well. Let's go ahead and end our turn. He's in close quarters. Let's see if Guard does us any good against the Xenomorph. Enemy found. alien. Okay. Cleanse. That one's down. Blocked. Cleanse. That one's down. <laughs> They're just lo Oh. Cleanse and burn. Okay, he's good. He's good. Oh, dude. Oh my god, man. This poor fucking bastard. Okay. So, if we use the power sword versus the bolter, I'm gonna assume we can... You know, we're doing good with this. I'm gonna go... Ahead and... Brother now. Oh, shit. Well, we are proper fucked now. Lorenzo just went down. That was our big bad guy. And that's not good at all. Okay, um, we're going to do something a little interesting here. Alright, so the problem we've got now is our flank is exposed. Our back end is completely wide open. Uh, i got three guys in a line that can't turn around and we are screwed. Now, obviously I need to move this guy forward to a position to where he can cover this area. And I can move him up to two and he can do overwatch with two points. The problem that we run into is Lorenzo's on the back. Or not Lorenzo, uh, what's his name? Zale. Zale's on the back. The problem with Zale being on the back, we need to get Zale up here to the front. So if Zale is actually covering our ass, that's not going to work for us. And we've got six shots with Zale. Now, unlike the other two dumbasses that we've got with us, Zale can lock a hallway down like nobody's business. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this guy forward. We're going to move him up to here. That gives us two. Objective locked. Notice we've been saving up our CP, so we should be good. Overwatch protocol initiated. He's in Overwatch. We're going to move this guy forward, and then we're going to turn him around. These guys are going to go back to back. And hopefully not fuck it up. Alright, we're going to use some CP to go into Overwatch. Now we gotta move this guy. Uh, where's the next spawner? 
we're pretty much good to here. That's four plus one, five plus one. That's seven points to get there. Uh, that would be eight points. So the question is, do I burn all of my CP trying to get into position? Um, a lot of these missions simply require you to clear the objective and you're good. So you can't exactly go completely slowly all the time. Sometimes you gotta take some risks. So I'm gonna go ahead and bum rush this with Lorenzo. Hopefully this guy can keep his ass clear. And we're gonna see what we can do if we can get up into this corner here and maybe lock this shit down. The good news is we don't have any aliens spawning here yet and Lorenzo's gonna be able to seal this down no problem. Or, I, I don't know why I keep calling him Lorenzo. It's, uh, it's Zale. All right, so we're out of AP now. Flipping the switch. Oh, really? Are you fucking serious? Oh my god, we are about to be completely and utterly screwed. Oh, please don't move, please don't move. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, this is where you're going to get to see the power of the Terminator. Um, oh, this is fucked up, actually. Okay, so the problem we've got now, I need to get in this path. This is where we need to be. To get there, if we click here, it's gonna cost us four points plus one to get to that location. For us to get into here, it'd be five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it costs us nine points to get up there. So we're not gonna be able to get in there anytime soon. The other bad thing is, We've only got six shots with Zale. Now the nice thing about Zale is he's got some really far reach. So I can burn these guys out and keep myself completely secure. So they won't be getting into me. The problem runs in down here behind us with this guy right here. He can't seal this off. So if I move him to the front, there's a possibility that this alien could run across and tag me. And if he tags me, we basically lose the whole setup. So we need to unjam this guy's weapon primary. Unjamming Bolta. Can he take this guy out? Oh, that's fucking shameful. So my option at this point are to do guard and block for close quarters or go overwatch and try and kill it. I can do one more shot and try and kill this alien. You shall be cleansed. <sighs> All right, so the other problem, like I said, this alien is gonna be able to close probably up to here. I'm gonna go ahead and do Overwatch. I, I think we'll be fine with Overwatch. Unless he fucks up again, we ought to be fine. I'm gonna move him forward. And try and secure this position a little bit better. They will fall. All right, and then this guy here, we need to move him a little forward, and we're gonna still have plenty to nuke with once we get up here. All right, so with the flamer, we are gonna go ahead and shut this path down, so I don't have to worry about them coming into me. And that's going to kill this thing around the corner. It's also going to keep them from coming at me. And we should be able to end our turn just fine. And that's game over. Nope. Nope. Apple just failed. Oh god, really? Oh my god, dude, we are getting butt fucked like you wouldn't believe. Okay, so here's the problem. <laughs> We're fucked. That's the problem. All right, so I got to spend a point to unjam his weapon. My I'm going to try and kill this thing. He dodged. Uh, that's two points to here. We're gonna go ahead and sacrifice ourselves to get this thing open. 
Take him out, Cleo. You missed. Really? You fucking missed? boned. We are completely and utterly boned. I think we're I think we're tooled here. Um, if I put this guy in close quarters, he might survive a melee attack. The problem is if he dies, then this this back area is wide open and both of these guys or this guy missed. Now I can burn a flame round to kill this guy. No problem. But then I don't have any more flame rounds to get myself out of here. That's kind of the issue we're going to run into there. Uh, I could try punching him, but if I if I power fist him, then there's a there's a pretty good chance that I'm going to die. That's the only problem. That's the only thing I'm really worried about. Because power fist, that's what I did down. I actually had a freaking sword down south, and it didn't it didn't pan out for us. So we're going to go ahead and try and just burn this guy down with a flamer. That didn't kill him? Really? Let them oh, we're gonna go. guard. Alright, so down here. Well, we've got plenty of extra CP points. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot one. That worked out Our righteous kill. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and try and kill another one. I don't know how it's possible for you to miss in that corridor. Stand put him on guard. Brothers. And we're ending turn. Death demands vengeance. That one's down. Oh no. I have moved across. The man should be my Oh house. fuck. All right, shit just got fucking real, dude. Shit just got fucking real. Oh my god, dude. All right, so <laughs> this poor motherfucker is dead. Um, there is no way I'm saving this guy. Um, we'd have to get to here, that's seven, and then I should be able to blow is that door? That door's closed, isn't it? So that's seven moves. It'll be one to open the door. <sighs> okay. We're gonna have to sacrifice everyone to do this. But it, it should work. It should work. So I'm moving him down. Alright, he's there. We are now flaming the room. And that's our mission. It is done. The Ooh. fires have consumed the control room in flame. There will be no escape for the enemy. Death is all that awaits them. So that's kind of a look at Space Hulk. Um, it is a very unforgiving turn-based strategy game very similar to uh, kind of like XCOM but there are a few more restrictions that make it a little bit more tedious and a little more frustrating at times in my opinion so let me know what you guys think about this game uh, I'm a huge fan of the series I love Warhammer uh, I love Space Marines I like fucking raping aliens so for me it's 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 a win-win situation but for people with a low tolerance for frustration and don't like their uh, games um being based on dice rolls might find it annoying so like i said let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you like this video make sure you click that like button don't forget to subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next clip